All right, gang. Pink Panther from the 70s. He's a bendable Pink Panther. You guys got to hang in there with me this morning. It's time changed. Watch the Georgia-Florida game. It started at like 3.30. But my problem with watching the football games, we all get on phones or sit around. In this case, we weren't, me and my friends weren't together. Uh, a couple of them had to work. Another one had to party he had to go to with his wife who was ticked but we'll get on the phone watch all the post game shows we'd analyze what we saw you know the good Monday morning quarterbacks so anyway I'm tired I'm trying to get my coffee in me had a bad week last week at work uh, we'll continue this week I can see that already so we're going to take time and have some fun and make some horrible videos starting with Pink Panther in the 70s I love the Pink Panther cartoon uh, I have the DVD collection well it wasn't cheap to get I kept waiting and waiting for it to come around pretty inexpensive and it never did but it, it's got Ant and Ard, well Pink Panther of course and Ant and Aardvark, uh, the Inspector oh I love the Inspector and uh, the Texas Toads, Fatso and Banjo <laughs> they were, I always love those. Um, anyway, I want to watch them again now. My aunt and Aardvark, man, they aunt talked so intelligent. <laughs> and Aardvark talked like a moron. <laughs> if you guys have never seen them, y'all ought to take a peek at them. I mean, Pink Panther, his character never really said much, and it's just a lot of interaction between him and whoever else was in there, like the horse or the little custodian painter guy where they're you know and it's like everything else is the same skits just set up different but it, they, they were great they were great anyway every year at christmas time because we were little kids my parents would give us five dollars a piece to buy gifts for each other talking about my siblings sorry had to get a pull off that coffee so anyway we had a shopping center, nowadays called a strip mall, and it had a Woolworths, a Key catalog, or was it Keys catalog? Can't remember. Radio Shack, Sears, and uh, was it a Hallmark store? Or a store like a Hallmark store? I can't remember what the store was called, but it was all in one, one shopping center or strip mall. I get laughed at when I say shopping center. Which I really don't care. That's what they are. And that's how I was raised. So we... And something else I always get laughed at about when I say I got to go to town. That's what what it was. I mean, I'm country folk. When we, we you know, if we couldn't get it at the uh, dry goods stores, we went to town. And, uh, and at that time, town was a bit of a bit of a drive. Now it's like I live in pretty much the same vicinity and I, it's like a five minute ride this has grown so much anyway I remember getting these for my two brothers and being kids back then and I hate I hate judging I really do but I always hated it when I hear my dad and my uncles and my uh, older older people in my family talk about how, how, how it was when they were kids and I got the thing that's, well, they had bicycles, we had bicycles. They had Tonka trucks, we had Tonka trucks. They had BB guns, we had BB guns. And how we, uh, it was very similar from my dad's childhood to my childhood, except for, you know, they didn't have color TV. Um, they had to walk down a mountain, literally. It was a road, but it was a horrible road, just to catch the school bus. And then I saw pictures of when the rivers flooded, they'd walk down the mountain and see the river was flooded, so they just turn and go back home because <laughs> they knew they weren't going to school. And uh, so anyway, other than those different obstacles, my my dad's childhood and my childhood pretty much resemble closely. And uh, but when I look today. And my buddy and I were talking about this. You ride around. Back, back when I was a kid, you rode through neighborhoods. There was bicycles, football, skateboards. You name it. was out in the yard. 
you ride around today, you can't even tell if a kid lives anywhere anymore. It's like I've said it before in a video, I don't know which one it was. When I first moved into this neighborhood, there's probably about 100 houses, maybe, uh, let's say maybe 80 houses in my neighborhood. I knew my son, and I knew three other kids, my nieces, lived in this neighborhood. And when school started, there were four freaking school buses running through this neighborhood. Kids everywhere, but I never saw them. And my first Halloween, I almost ran out of candy here in this neighborhood because so many kids were walking up and down the neighborhood. I don't know where are these kids coming from. Well, they all live inside the house. They don't go outside. And you go to the yard sales and you see tons of kid toys that never have use on them. Except for my three nieces and my sons. I mean, my son, not sons. Anyway, you see how I got off track right around one. Let's get back on to Pink Panther. My brother's... I played with them too, even though they weren't mine, but my brothers enjoyed these Pink Panthers. My, I showed it to both of them, and they both remember having them and wrapping them around the bedposts, and you know, it was just something fun until the wires started breaking and poking through the rubber. The Evil Knievel figures are just made the same way. Uh, I don't know if they make bendable stuff anymore. I might have to check into that and all. But you see, here he is. Man, I can't believe I ran it, but this is like the fourth time I'm doing this. Because I keep cutting the camera off instead of pausing it. It's too early game. So, I'm wondering if they still make these things because they got wires in them and they can break out and poke a kid in the finger or something. I don't know. People are so freaking too cautious taking fun out of everything. So, let's check him out. All right, so Pink Panther with a blue top hat. Now, his eyeballs are painted, and he's got his whiskers on each side. And he's got that long, slender Pink Panther build and his big old flipper feet. This wrist is twisted. I'm not going to twist it back. But you see there's a hole with it in the ball of his fist on each side. And... There's all the manufacturing stuff to Hong Kong, USA, but there's no date on him. I know it's from the 70s. And then his tail, I don't know, I haven't straightened it out. And I should have measured, but I don't know, what is that, 8, 10 inches maybe? Maybe a little longer? And maybe longer. And both his ears. So, that's the old bendable pink panther from the 70s. Golly, I can't believe I ran over. I gotta quit rambling. Sorry for the extremely long video for just a short amount of content, but that's the way it is. Uh, if you watch any of my horribly produced videos, you'll see that's how I am. I'm horrible at doing videos. Anyway, thanks for checking it out, gang. Bendable Pink Panther. Watch all the cartoons that came out with them. Uh, Inspector, Ant and Aardvark. A pit horse pink panther and then the toads fatso and banjo you gain you guys have a great day